Sprint has unveiled a trio of mobile hotspot devices that will be coming to market this summer from both Netgear and uh, MiFi, and all of these are tri-band, which means they'll work on the 800, 1900, and 2.5 gigahertz bands, and the 2.5 is going to come courtesy of Clearwire, Clearwire, which promises better indoor coverage. Let's first take a look at the Netgear Zing. And this device has a battery that'll last up to 10 hours on a charge, and you'll be able to connect up to 10 devices. And what makes this device unique is that it has a built-in touchscreen. So this is the first touchscreen hotspot for the Sprint network, and it's pretty easy to navigate. And right up front, you can see that it gives you how much data you've used, how many devices are connected, uh, the Wi-Fi strength, and how much battery life. Again, you're gonna get up to 10 hours. We're not getting LTE here in Vegas. Uh, but the design is fairly sleek, especially compared to the My5 500, which we'll show you in a second. The, on the bottom of the device, you have a micro USB slot and two of these connectors here that will show you how it works. They plug into a power boost dock that give you a lot more signal coverage when you're at home or on the road. This is the uh, SIM card slot. And, and everything else is pretty much touch-based touch with the exception of the power button. And we'll show you how this plugs into the Netgear dock right here. And you can see this is how you can, you can plug this in. This will be an optional accessory to give you a boost in signal. Moving on, this is uh, the Netgear 341U. This is a USB device, also tri-band. It'll be uh, very easy to plug in. It's a little bit wide, so we're not sure you'll be able to plug in other peripherals into the same side of your laptop. Uh, but you'll be able to get really good speeds and coverage up to 200 million pops by the end of 2013, according to Sprint. And last but not least, we have the My5 500, which is a bit on the chunky side, uh, but this battery also lasts up to 10 hours, and you'll be able to get uh, fast 4G LTE speeds when they come to your neck of the woods. We do like the OLED display, uh, and then pretty easy to use interface. Uh, but if we were gonna pick a hotspot, we would go with the Netgear Zing, which will be coming to market this summer as well. This is Mark Spoonauer with Laptop Magazine with our first look at Sprint's trio of tri-band devices for LTE at CTIA 2013.